Minneapolis. The Minnesota Vikings, playing yet another close game, were able to pull out a key 22-17 victory over the San Francisco 49ers at U.S. Bank Stadium on Monday night. Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins threw two touchdown passes to rookie wide receiver Jordan Addison, while Minnesota intercepted 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy twice in the fourth quarter to improve its record to 3-4. The 49ers, 5-2, have lost two in a row after starting the season 5-0 despite two more touchdowns from running back Christian McCaffrey. It's going to be difficult for the Vikings to ponder the kind of mid-season sell-off many fans and media members have been anticipating. Their victory Monday night over the heavily favored 49ers brought them within a game of 500, and with a less formidable schedule forthcoming. The Vikings will be geared more toward qualifying for the playoffs than trading veterans and settling for a high first-round pick in the 2024 draft. It wasn't over until safety Cameron Bynum stopped two late 49ers drives with interceptions. But as the Vikings look ahead to games against the Green Bay Packers, Atlanta Falcons and New Orleans Saints, followed by the possible return of star wideout Justin Jefferson, they would be excused for believing their bad luck has run out. All seven of the Vikings games this season have been decided by one score. Last season, they famously went 11-0 in such contests. Who knows what could be next? Buy, sell on a breakout performance. Those who watched the Vikings training camp knew that Addison was the real deal. Cousins said as much recently, adding, he's a great player. And all it took was an injury to Jefferson for the rest of the NFL world to see it. Addison caught seven passes for 123 yards and two touchdowns Monday night, including a 60-yarder just before halftime that he stole away from 49ers cornerback Charvarius Ward. Addison's six receiving touchdowns ranks second in the NFL, and his 14-yard catch on third down at the 219 mark, after returning from a round of cramps, helped seal the game. Troubling trend. The Vikings committed a turnover on their first possession for the fourth time this season. More than any team in a full season, let alone seven games, since 2020, when Ward wrestled away a pass intended for Addison. The turnover did no harm from a scoring perspective, as the 49ers fumbled right back to them on the ensuing possession. Suffice to say, it's an incredibly dangerous way to live. QB breakdown. Cousins entered this game having won only two of 12 career starts on Monday Night Football, tied for the most losses in NFL history among quarterbacks with at least 10 such starts. But he performed admirably against one of the NFL's top defenses on a night when the Vikings didn't appear to trust their running game. Cousins completed 35 of 45 passes for 378 yards and was still throwing in the final minutes as the Vikings tried to burn time on the clock.